July 15th, St. Henry II, Emperor. St. Henry II was the son of Henry, Duke of Bavaria, and Gisela of Burgundy, and was born in the year 972. He was educated by St. Wolfgang, Bishop of Ratisbon. He became successively Duke of Bavaria, King of Germany, and Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, of which he was one of the best and holiest of rulers. As a youth, he saw in a vision his patron saint pointing to the words, After six. This moved him to prepare for death, as he thought he only had six years to live. For six years he continued to watch and pray, when, at the end of the sixth year, he was crowned Emperor of Germany. Thus trained in the fear of God, he ascended the throne with but one thought, to reign for his greater glory. He placed his army under the blessings of God and invoked patron saints of his people, especially St. Adrian, a military martyr whose sword was carefully conserved as a relic for a long time in Walbach. With this protection, he organized an army and defeated the barbarians from the east who were invading Western Europe. Before facing the pagan Slavs, who were much superior in strength, he called on his army to pray and receive communion. When the troops entered combat, an unexpected panic took hold of the enemy soldiers, who broke ranks and fled en masse. An angel and three martyrs led his troops, causing the enemy to take flight in despair. The Slavs submitted to his rule, and Bohemia, Moravia, and Poland were in turn annexed to the Holy Empire. Twice he defeated the Lombards, who resisted the consolidation of the empire and threatened the pontifical states. After his first victory in the year 1004, he was crowned King of Lombardy in Pavia with the famous iron crown of that kingdom. The second time he had to do more than pacify the Lombards, since grave problems were afflicting the church. Henry drove out an anti-pope and brought the legitimate Pope Benedict VIII back to Rome. When he and Empress Cunegunde went to Rome to visit the Pope, they were crowned Emperor and Empress of the Romans. St. Henry approached Stephen, King of Hungary, who was still a pagan and had not been received into the bosom of the church. St. Henry II made an alliance with him, offering him the hand of his sister as his wife. Soon afterward, King Stephen was baptized and the whole nation brought to the faith of Christ. With the marvelous conversion of Stephen, Henry won a great king for the church and a saint for heaven it was henry's custom on arriving in any town to spend his first night in watching in some church dedicated to the blessed lady as he was thus praying in saint mary majors the first night of his arrival in rome he saw the sovereign and eternal priest christ jesus enter the same mass saints lawrence and vincent assistant as deacon and subdeacon saints innumerable filled the church and angels sang in the choir after the gospel an angel was set by our lady to give henry the book to kiss like holy david forests and mines of the empire the best that his treasury could produce were consecrated to the sanctuary stately cathedrals noble monasteries churches innumerable enlightened and sanctified the once heathen lands in the year 1022 henry lay on his bed of death he gave back to her parents his wife saint cunegonde a virgin still as a virgin he had received her from christ and then surrendered his own pure soul to god saint henry died in the peace of god as a great saint warrior diplomat and politician this is the glorious story of saint henry the second emperor let us pray to him to help us establish the foundation of a new christendom